What's going on, y'all? Supreme Reviews here, coming back at you with another video. Uh, this is going to be more of an informational type, topic based video. Uh, you guys have been fucking with those lately, so figured why not make another one. So, uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about purple weed. So, we're going to be smoking purple weed, talking about what makes weed purple, and talking about if purple weed is better than other weed, because that is a common thing that is said in the cannabis community. So, the purple weed we're going to be smoking on is gelato cake. Let me get a big nugget out. This is a monster here. I don't know if the camera's quite doing it justice. This is probably about an eighth nug, maybe even more. Uh, fuck it, let's smoke off this one. So, yeah, i got to grind some up here. Um, purple weed has been usually synonymous with some of my favorite strains. So... I don't know if that's the right word. Synonymous would mean it means the same thing. So I guess, yeah, synonymous would work there because favorite strain would mean purple. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, I love purple strains. There's a lot of really good purple strains. <clears throat> purple Haze is a really good strain. Granddaddy Purple is one of my all-time favorites because it's a pure indica. Uh, you got Blueberry, which can sometimes be purple. You got Purple Trainwreck, The Perps, Mendocino Perps, You Dub Purple. Let's see, how long can I keep doing this? Um, the Hog can sometimes be purple, Indica Strain. Um, Lavender Purple. And let me see. How many more do I have on the top of my head? Uh, there's purple, purple sour, di purple diesel, purple sour diesel. That one's pretty fire. Uh, Girl Scout cookies can occasionally have purple hues. Um, plat I think platinum Girl Scout cookies is not purple. Um, let me think. I've named like a few so far. Um, uh, obviously... Gelato cake. Gelato can sometimes be uh, purple. Uh, wedding cake can be purple as well. It's a cookie's relative. Uh, God bud can be purple. Sorry, I'm just grinding out the weed. Um, let me think. There's rhino. White. Uh, no, I don't think that one's purple. Okay, I ran out officially. But that was quite a few purple strains that I named. Right off the top. So, that smells bomb. So, what makes weed purple? Is what we're going to talk about after I take this hit. <laughs> Had to tease you guys there a little bit. I got, uh, got some notes here for you. Prepared. Cheers. And anybody in Washington, this is going to go up on Thursday, and this weekend they're saying it's going to be over 102 degrees where I'm at, and it never ever gets that hot. So stay safe, y'all, and uh, yeah, the party this weekend should be fire. So yeah, and on Sunday, on Sunday they're saying it's going to be 108 degrees, which is unheard of around here. Unheard of. I've never even heard of anything close to that where around here so it's exciting and scary because it means climate change is real Water. All right. <coughs> so weed. <coughs> my apologies. Weed is purple uh, because of this chemical called 
anthocyanins. So anthocyanins are part of a larger class of substances known as flavonoids, which aside from how the name sounds, have very little to do with flavor. And in fact, the name flav comes from the Greek, the Greek word for yellow, which is interesting. Um, so it has nothing to do with the strength of weed. A lot of people say, well, purple weed is better, purple weed is stronger, purple weed. Well, anthocyanins have nothing to do with getting you high. Absolutely nothing. Um, in fact, anthocyanins, they're water-soluble uh, pigments present in many plants. Despite the cyan and anthocyanins referring to their blue nature, these molecules occur in a range of colors from red to purple to dark blue or black depending on pH level so that's interesting <coughs> so it has nothing to do with the strength of weed it has nothing to do with the flavor of weed it's really just uh, for aesthetic purposes why did it evolve to contain these colors I have no idea because um, I know that it Weed naturally, you know, it probably doesn't want to be harvested and smoked by humans because we would be then the predator. So um, I wonder why it produced this because obviously we're attracted to the purple hues more than uh, traditional green. So if there are purple weed in the wild, we would be more likely to harvest that over the traditional green weed. So it wouldn't be a good evolutionary, uh, evolutionary adaptation. So I wonder why... Um, weed is purple now. I mean, I know why chemically, but I don't know why evolutionarily, which would be very interesting to find out. <clears throat> so, that brings us to my uh, next question. Uh, I guess I already kind of answered it, but is purple weed better? Uh, no, it's not. Like, the simplest way to put it is no. Weed is weed. It all, it, there are so many variables when it comes to the strength and um, when it comes to the strength, the color, the look, the like. There are so many variables. I mean, really, be, the fact that it's purple does not make it any better because you can have really shitty, shittily grown purple weed and it's shitty weed because it was shittily grown the variable there is the grower you can have really good grower really good genetics terrible soil terrible growing setup that's going to produce bad weed doesn't matter what the strain is could be grand Addy purple could be sour diesel it could be anything it doesn't matter it's going to be shitty weed if it's shittily grown. So if you have a master grower, they can pretty much take any strain and make it fire. Like any strain that's not Charlotte, one of those strains like Charlotte's Web that was med f to have high CBD because those aren't really, that strain was meant for a girl named Charlotte who had severe, uh, like can I think it was cancer in Colorado and it helped her deal with her chemotherapy. So they, that strain was meant to have higher CBD, lower THC. Um, other than that, you can have fire weed. You can have fire weed in any strain, like literally any strain. It doesn't matter. Like that's something that you all have to get like your heads wrapped around because people love to fucking sit here and brag about what strain they've gotten, and blah, 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 and, like, I'm glad that if you, I'm glad if you like strains, right, like, I love particular strains, I have my favorites, right, but ultimately, it doesn't really impact that, like, it doesn't really impact the quality of the weed, the strain, what impacts the quality more is the uh, grower, so, yeah, purple weed, purple weed or not, like it doesn't matter, it's not better, weed is weed, 
So, yeah, I pretty much that was the day on that. That was my purple weed video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Kind of short and sweet.